What's up, YouTube? Uh, back here, a little video on the truck. Uh, I just went and washed it down a little bit, just a little quick wash, and like detail it or nothing. But there they go. But uh, basically, I just got a new muffler. I got rid of the Carbon R and replaced it with the Borla Pro XS. And uh, got to see it. Oh, sorry, right there. But uh. It sounds pretty good. I like the way it sounds. So this is a warm start, so. It's a lot quieter than it was with the Carvin. It's still got a little, you know, a little bit of growl pop sound to it, but uh, it's a lot deeper, but quieter, if that makes sense. So uh, let's go for a ride real quick. So I'm just over here at like one of those little local uh, schools, but it's convenient because it's kind of like on one of those like just being developed type of roads where it's like two lane, not a lot of traffic, so you can kind of get on it if you want to and not really have to worry about anything. So that's just with the cab, that's the uh, inside the cab with the windows up, it's really not bad. fucking sun is going down man and it is bright Turn the traction control off let's get the windows down I got a way faster than I was planning on, but I said fuck it. There's no one else coming, so mine as well. But uh, I really like the way it sounds, man. I think I'm gonna stick with this for a little while. Sorry if I'm talking all loud still. I'm all thinking the windows are down. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna stick with this exhaust for a little while, or the muffler, I should say. I like the way it sounds. It's not too loud and obnoxious. I can, you know, drive comfortably again and listen to my music without just being like talking over everything and. Uh, if, well, if this wasn't my daily driver, man, I would have kept it loud. I probably would have dueled it out with some Carvin R's and probably put some electric cutouts on there, but I don't know. I just, like I said, this is my daily driver. My girlfriend hated riding the truck when it was loud because she, like, couldn't think and couldn't hear shit, so you know how girls are. But, uh, so I'm waiting on this long-ass light. But, uh, everything else is the same on the truck. Still the like, same, uh, single three inch in three inch out uh to the dual tips like i said I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the video or not back there but uh usually when i get on it and i can really get into the pedal they uh i'll get a nice little second gear scratch but uh get on a little bit more Sorry, I'm trying to get that sun out of like the frame, so I'm just gonna try to kind of keep it down here. So I'm telling you, man, that sun is bright. I picked the wrong time of day to come do this. I was trying to do it earlier, but I just didn't have time, and so I figured before it got dark, I'd go wash, wash the truck because it was filthy, dirty, and uh, kind of go play around a little bit and get this update video posted because I know I'm sure some of y'all probably saw it and were wondering what was, you know, what I did to the truck. So uh, for the time being, man, like I said, this is all that's been done to it. Uh, the next big ticket item is going to be that the torque converter. Probably going to, I'm looking between the 26, 2800, and the 3200 Circle Ds. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about torque converters. So I've been trying to like kind of read up on them and you know become more knowledgeable about them. But uh, other than that, man, not much else to do to the truck right now unless it's <laughs> a turbo or a Pro Charger or something. But uh, all right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching my video. Bye.